fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> When the western United States was settled and the raising of cattle became one of its foremost industries, there developed a decided need for transportation. Railroad companies hurried to extend their lines into the cattle country, and many ranchers became rich selling their spreads to the railroad representatives. Advance information on which way the trains would travel was invaluable. The possibility of making huge sums of money attracted the lawless, and the need for law and order in this new country increased. It was then the Lone Ranger wrote in the cause of justice. He fought crime and criminals throughout the length and breadth of seven states, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Tell us signaling from the railroad camp. Hello, Silver! Hello! The construction gang of one of the large railroad companies had laid their tracks to a small community not far from the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains. There they rested until their advance agents bought new land to the westward. Our story begins in a small temporary shack that served as the office of the construction gang. Zeke Slavin is talking to Harvey Grant, the assistant manager of the gang. Now, look here, Harv. You got access to the safe in your boss's office. Sure I have. But what about it? Heaven, that is the same as having the key to the bank. You get what I mean? I don't know as I do. Inside that safe, there's some papers that tell just where the railroad you work for is going to be laid. I still don't see... No? That. Well, listen close, Harv, and follow me careful. Go on. I got a little ready cash to work with, Sevy. Now, if I knew what land was about to be bought by the railroad, I could get options on that same and stick the railroad for a nice high price. And you think I'd double-cross my boss? I know you would. Why, you dirty... Take it gambling. easy, Harv. You can pull the wool over the eyes of a man like John Shaw, but not me. I happen to know your background, Savvy. You what? I says I know your background. I know that before you come here, you went by the handle of Jim Patterson in Washoe. And Jim Patterson was a crook. You... Now, maybe we can talk since. Look here, Zeke. You look here. I want them plans. You and me can both make us a little easy cash without costing anyone but the railroad money. It won't go. Why? There ain't but two men has the combination of that safe. One's John Shaw and the other is me. If the plans got out, I'd be the first one suspected. I thought of that. Then you see, I I also can't... thought of a way around it. What do you think of that? How? Suppose I figure the whole thing out so John Shaw's son will be the one accused of robbing the safe. It couldn't be done. It could. How? <laughs> Listen, Harve. See if there's anything wrong with this. Jack Shaw likes to play poker. Yes? I can get him in a game. Get him to lose cash and borrow from me on his IOUs. That won't be hard because the kid thinks he's a first-class poker player. While the poker game was in progress in the cafe, the Lone Ranger, unmasked but disguised, sat at a nearby table with Tonto. Jack Shaw should know better than to get in a game like that. He's been losing money to Zeke Slavin all evening. Slavin? Him crook? 
How can Jack afford to lose so much? You look. Yes, borrowing more money. Huh? I wonder why Zeke is willing to lend it to him. If Zeke is planning something, I'd like to know what it is. I don't we're going to get closer to that table. It's just between the two of us, Jack. I'll call you. What have you got? Full house, queens and tens. Take a look at these. Four of a kind. You're sure holding them tonight, Zeke. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon that about finishes you, don't it, Jack? I... Now, look, lend me some more money, will you? I know my luck will change. I know it will. I've let you have about a thousand already. I know, but just give me a chance. I got your IOUs for a thousand dollars. That's as far as I want to go. I'll pay you back. How can you? Look, just lend me a hundred dollars. That's all I ask you. Just a hundred. Well, I don't know. Give me a piece of paper. I'll write you another IOU. You'll write nothing. I I don't savvy. I don't want your note. But there's something you can get that I might be willing to pay for. Now, what's that? You hombres can mosey along now. I want to talk to Jack, private. Oh, I forget about what you owed me if you got it. Well, what is it? If there's anything I can do, Your I... Pa's in charge of this here railroad. Oh, yeah, but... I hear there's plans to build a branch line to the south. And if a fellow knows just what land the railroad is figuring on buying, he might stand to make himself some cash. You can get that information for me. But... But I couldn't. Why not? Well, Paul keeps the plans in his safe. I can't steal from my own father. Are well, you going to welch, eh? I see the whole thing now. You cheated me to get me in debt to you. What's that? I'll bet you fix the card so you get me in debt to you. Why, you little... You did. You did cheat. I'll teach you. Uh, I'll kill you for that. Oh, wait. I ain't on Zeke. I'll show you your Drop ring. that gun. What the... Keep out of this train, Drop it. Drop your gun. Keep your hands up. Jack, you come with me. Come I'll stand... get you for this. Stand back. I'll shoot the man who moves. Come on, Jack. Uh, I never thought they'd be low enough to draw me when I wasn't packing a gun. Watch them, Tonto. Uh, Tonto, watch them. Blast you, stranger. I'll teach you. You wait. Outside, Jack. Yeah. Where's your horse? Over there. Come on. Here, Silver. What are you going to do, stranger? Steady, fellow. Jack, I heard what you said in there. You go home and stay there. Uh, yes, sir. Get up there. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Later the same night, Zeke Slavin met Harv Grant and told him about the fight in the cafe. <laughs> it worked out just right. Even better than I thought it would. I heard that someone threw a gun on you. Yeah, can you beat that? All I wanted to do was to stir up enough commotion so as everyone would know I held IOUs for the kid. What was you aiming to do if that hombre hadn't interfered? I had a dead cartridge in my gun. I'd have snapped the hammer and there wouldn't have been no shot. Then I'd have slammed the kid in the jaw and left. But I didn't need this, Abby. That was even better than doing as you planned in the first place. And have me there to bust up a fight. Uh-huh. Now you're clear to let me have that information, ain't you? Well, I... Ain't you? Sure, sure thing. And the kid will be suspected of it. His old man will hear tomorrow about him getting in debt to me and owing money. He'll hear all right. I'll see to that first thing in the morning. Sure of your facts? I'm just telling you what I heard. That's all, boss. Of course, it's none of my business. I thought but... Jack had learned not to gamble. Well, you can't be too harsh with him, boss. He's young. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Sorry to hear it. It's bad business, gambling. Of course, if I'd known it was going to affect you that way, boss, I wouldn't have said anything about it. I'm glad you did. I'll have a talk with him. How much did he lose? Oh, I don't know. But folks said it was a sizable amount. Harv, you go out and check with the stage station about the equipment we're expecting. Now? Yes. All right, boss, but I got some work to do. Well, let it go. I... Jack will be in in a little while, and I want to have a talk with him alone. Whatever you say. Approval of the plans I sent east should be in on the next mail. You can watch for them. Oh, that'll be what... Huh? Uh, that'll verify everything so we can go ahead, won't it? Yes. Well, I'll see you later, boss. Oh. You went here. What do you want, Injun? Me want talk. Let me go. I'm in a hurry. Me let you go in a minute. You just talk about game last night. You've been listening at the window. That's right. All right. What of it? Ain't any of your business, is it? How you know about game? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I know about it? It's all over town this morning. That's right. But you not in town. How you know, huh? Why, blast your hide. It ain't no business of yours. Now, well, stand aside before I throw lead. No, Tonto will go now. Get him up, Scout. What the dickens did he mean? Who is he anyhow? Morning, Mr. Grant. Oh, morning, Jack. Who was the redskin that just rode away? I don't know. Looking for a handout, I guess. 
Your pa's inside. He wants to see you. All right, thanks. You going in? I'm going to town. I'll be back by and by. So long. Bye. Jack, what's this I hear about you gambling last night? Who said that? Who told you? I wished it had been you that told me, son, but it wasn't. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Well, I... You let everyone in the cafe know you're a pal of gamblers, but you won't let me know it. Did you think I wouldn't find it out somehow? Things get around. Yeah, I guess they do. I... Oh, gosh, Paul, I... How much did you lose? Well, I... I lost all I had. Your savings? Yeah. That was a lot of money. Almost a hundred dollars. I know it. Still, I can't imagine a professional gambler being interested. That wouldn't be much to him. Well, I... I, uh... Go on, Jack. I lost more than that. More? How could you lose more? You didn't have any more. He... He took my IOUs. Hmm. Well, what good are they? How do you figure you'll be able to pay him off? Paul, I don't have to pay him off. He cheated. Did you tell him that? Yes, I did. And I won't pay him what I owe him. He drew a gun and he was going to shoot me. Then another man stepped in and stopped him. Pretty lucky for you, wasn't it? Oh, but then maybe it wasn't. If he had shot you, you wouldn't have it hanging over your head. Well, what do you mean? He'll want you to make those IOUs good somehow. I don't know how you're to do it, son. But he cheated, That Paul. don't matter. If you knew he cheated or was likely to cheat, you shouldn't have played. Too bad, Jack, but I'm afraid you're in sort of a tough spot. And you're old enough to get out of it yourself. I'm not asking for your help. It wouldn't do you any good, Jack, because I can't help. I don't have any money to pay off your gambling debts. I know you don't. You'll have to figure some way to pay that gambler. And that's going to call for a lot of figuring. When Tonto met the Lone Ranger, he told about the meeting with Harv Grant. Hmm. I wonder how that man did know about last night. Me not know. He couldn't have gone to the town after we left. The place was just about ready to close up. That's right. And he wouldn't be likely to have seen anyone this morning. Now, though, I want to ask him a few questions myself. Mm -hmm. There's a chance that he might have known beforehand that Jack was going to lose some money. I don't know why Slavin would have taken the youngster into a card game unless he had some scheme in mind. What scheme? I don't know that either. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. But we're going to try and find out. Yep. Uh, come on, boy. Get him up, Scout. Around noon, Harv returned from town, and the Lone Ranger and Tonto arrived at the office a few moments later. Oh, Scout. Oh, 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 Silver. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. There, window where. Tonto, listen. I'll look in. I don't want to go inside until we're sure Grant is back from town. <coughs> Stay there with the horses, Tonto. Mm. Tonto, wait. That's what I told him, Grant. And it'll give him something to think about. It sure will. I'd be downright worried, boss, if I had given a gambler IOUs without a chance to pay him off. Now, here's what I plan, Harv. Yeah? I'll help Jack out. I'd be a mighty poor father if I couldn't stand behind my own son when he's in trouble. Yeah. I'll help him out, but not just yet. I want him to worry about this long enough to get a good lesson. That's a good idea. But I don't want the gambler to try and shoot him again. No, sir. I want someone I can trust to keep an eye on Jack. You're a Westerner and pretty handy with a gun. I can hold my own. I'll attend to your work for a time and you keep an eye on Jack. Trail him? Yes. Whatever you say, boss. Don't let him know you're watching him. And don't interfere with anything he does. But just stick close enough to help him in case that gambler makes some sure thing. You can count on me. Tonto, I'm not going to speak to Grant. No? No. He's been given a job by Jack's father. He's going to watch Jack. And instead of speaking to him about last night, we'll follow him. I think we'll learn more that way. Though the manager of the railroad didn't know it, he played right into the hands of Harvey Grant when he gave him the job of guarding Jack. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
When the Lone Ranger decided to investigate Harvey Grant, the assistant to the boss of a railroad crew, he learned that Grant was assigned the task of protesting the manager's son, Jack. As our story continues, Zeke Slavin meets Harvey Grant late at night. Right over there is where you live, ain't it, Harv? You know it is. Living right with your boss and his son. <laughs> that makes it just swell. Now, look here, Zeke. You gotta keep me out in this thing. If it's ever found out that I'm the critter that takes the information from the safe... It won't no... be learned, no fear for that. The kid will take the blame for it. He better. And the fact that you're watching him makes it a cinch for you to tell John Shaw plenty of suspicious things. Yeah. Tonight's as good a time as any to open that safe. You go get me the information I want. Now? Sure. Why not now? If I find out tonight where the railroad's going to run, I can start out first thing in the morning to get options on that land. Now, Zeke, you've got to be sure and keep me in the clear. You needn't worry about that. Come on, I'll go with you. But Jack is... He's in the house, ain't he? Yeah. Good place for him. He'll stay there for the night. He might not. Sure he will. Keep moving now. Jack's just over here a ways. I'm worried about this thing, Zeke. If John Shaw ever found out the truth about me... He won't unless you double-cross me. Then he'll hear up plenty. Wait. What's the matter with you? Thought I seen something move in that dark shadow ahead of us. You're seeing things. Come on. You're sure that after you get the options on the land, Shaw can't do nothing to you? What can he do? We make him think his son squared the IOUs by giving me that information, and he won't start no trouble. There. Huh? I thought I saw that shadow again. Zeke, there's someone heading for that shack. I ain't seen nothing. My eyes are sharp in the dark. There's someone there. You're just trying to back down. Now keep going. If anyone's there, he ain't no right to be there. So we'll drill him for it. Shaw's back in the house with his kid. Here. And he's the only one with the right to be in the shack. There's the shack. We won't make no more light than we have to when you open the safe. Come on, Silver. There's Zeke. See him now? There he goes, riding that white horse. Who's that the horse was just beyond the shack. That's all right, then, as long as he keeps riding. Let's go in now. Zeke, the door is open. It was closed when I left this afternoon. Well, it's open now, and that saves us the trouble of opening it. Come on in. Keep your shooting iron handy, Zeke. Stop being so yellow. Get that safe. You stand watch. Sure. And hold it light for me. I will. I'll get it open and find that paper. I'll read it and note what land will be the best investment. And you can close us safe and we'll clear out. Uh, I'm worried about that man that rid away from here. I wonder who he was. Get the safe open. You'll for sure arrange so Jack will get the blame. I told you I would and I will. The first thing in the morning. As soon as I get my land options. About noon the next day, John Shaw sat alone in his office. He looked up when the door opened and saw one of the townsmen standing there. Your name's Shaw? Yes, what about it? John Shaw? Yes, yes, of course. What do you want? I got something for you. Zeke Slavin sent him. Who? Zeke Slavin. Reckon you know who he is, don't you? What did he send me? These here papers. Said to tell you that everything was square and he's much obliged. I owe you, sir. Uh Uh-huh. He sent these to me. Ain't that your name on him? I don't know nothing more than that. Said he was much obliged. Huh? I delivered him, and that's all I know. All right, thanks. Strange, mighty strange. Of course, these were meant for Jack. But how in the world did he pay them off? Two hundred, five hundred. Huh. Total of a thousand dollars. Hello, boss. Oh, Jack, I want to speak to you. Howdy, boss. Hello. Jack, a man just came in and brought some papers. He thought they were for me. Yeah? They were signed by John Shaw. But it was you who signed them, not me. What were they? Here. Why, those are the IOUs. That's it, exactly. What did he send these back for? That's what I'd like to know. Why, without these, he can't collect from me. From what was said, I thought he'd already collected. Well, how could he? I ain't seen Zeke Slavin since he beat me out of the money. No. Jack, I wouldn't try to lie to you, Paul. He ain't took in very easy. What do you mean, Grant? I've been watching you. Watching me? Sure, your pa asked me to keep an eye on you so you wouldn't get into more trouble. Pa, did you do that? Well, son, I sort of thought that Having maybe... me shadowed, huh? All right, then, I'm having you shadowed. And from the look of things, 
You can stand a lot of watching. Harv, did he see Zeke Slavin? Yeah, him and Zeke had a confab yesterday afternoon, late. That's a lie. I didn't hear all that was said, but he told Zeke a lot of things. Then they shook hands and left. What did you give him for these IOUs? I didn't give he him didn't anything. didn't see nothing change hands, boss. Must have been something Jack told him. I don't know what sort of information he would sell that would be worth a $1,000. That's a pack I... of lies. I never saw Slavin yesterday afternoon. And if you claim you saw me talking to him, it ain't true. I can understand how you try and keep yourself in the clear, Stop Jack. Stop it. But, uh... The more you say, the worse you make me look. Jack, listen to me. But I... I said to listen. I'll do the talking for a change. Now, there'd be no reason for Harv to say you was talking with Zeke, if you weren't, would there? I don't know. It's all wrong. Quiet. I... Let's suppose that you did talk to him. What did you say? But, Paul... I'd I... like to believe that Harv Grant's not telling the truth, son. But it looks as if you'd done something that Zeke appreciated so much, he sent back these IOUs. All right, then. If that's what you think, there's nothing more for me to say. Son, I have always been on the level with you. Why can't you trust me? I told you, Paul. I've always stuck with you. I've always... Hey, Paul! Paul! What do you think? Bart, what are you doing around here? I thought you... I had to come in. We've been double-crossed. What's that? I started dealing with the owners on the first piece of land and found that they'd sold an option on it to Zeke Slavin. Slavin? An option? That means he'll stick us for a high price for that land. And that ain't all, boss. When I heard that, I checked on the next ranch. And Zeke had already been there, too. He's taken options on all the land we want to buy. Why, that dirty underhand. Boss, that looks awful bad. Jack's able to open your safe, ain't he? I didn't touch that safe. If he told Zeke Slavin where the land was going to be bought up, it would be well worth Slavin's while to give back the IOUs. Boy, you can't believe that of me. I didn't do anything in the sort of... Licked. Licked by my own son. Jack, why do you have to fight against your father? Oh, I didn't do anything of the sort. There's I... not a thing we can do about it. There's no law to stop Slavin from getting options on that land. That's all legal. No law to stop him. And nothing we can do but buy the land at his price if the railroad wants it. Well, that washes me up with the company. Let me go. Bless you for this. Let me go. What the... That's Zeke Slavin. Who... You blessed him, that. Mask. Look at the way he shoved Slavin across the room. Steady, all of you. Don't reach for a gun. But that voice... Philip, arrest him. I wouldn't advise anyone to move too fast. You, Slavin, stand right there against the wall. We're going to talk things over. See here, stranger. What do you mean by throwing that rat in here and then holding guns on the rest of us? The rat you speak of, Shaw, was buying up options on the land your railroad needs. That's what I told you, boss. And what's it to you? I have an idea that you're going to accuse the wrong man of making this work possible. He is. I remember the voice now. You saved my neck at the cafe. What's that, Jack? I told you, Paul. That's the man that kept slaving from drilling me after that card game. I suppose I should be grateful to you for saving my son's life. I don't want your gratitude, Shaw. Then money? No. Nothing but a square deal for a man who's been framed. Well, that's me, Pa. I told All you... All the law. Have that masked man thrown into jail. He ain't no right to handle me like he done. We'll have the law here soon enough, Zeke. And you'll be the one to get thrown into jail. You needn't worry about your land, Shaw. Needn't worry? Laban has bought some options, but... All right, Shaw, he's right. I did buy options. And spend my last dime to get them. But you'll pay up plenty to get the land you want now. What's more, if you don't let me get out of here, I'll double the price. How did you know what land we wanted? I told you that. That's boss. my business. One minute. I'm glad you spent your last dime for those options, Slavin. Because when you don't take them up, you'll lose all your cash. Yeah? Only I won't lose, Savvy. I'll sell them to the railroad. If you want that land, sure, I'm the one you gotta deal with. He's right, boss. The law can't touch him for buying the options. You forget that when the end of the term on the options is reached, Shaw can buy the land at the same price you plan to buy it. Yeah? Well, it won't lapse, see? I'll take up them options. You can't do that if you're in jail. Jail? <laughs> what am I to go to jail for? I ain't broke no laws. That's where you're wrong. You and Harv Grant came to this office last night. You opened that safe and stole the information you used. Stranger. Are you sure of that? It ain't so. That's what happened, Paul. That must have been it. He's loco. Zeke and I weren't in this office last night. When you came here, you saw me. I was just ahead of you, Grant. Oh, that... He's trying to make us admit something, Harv. He can't prove no such story as this. Do you know what was done when I was in this office just before you? What? Suppose someone put a powder that is known as magenta in that safe just before you came here last night. 
Do you know what magenta does? Well, what? I ain't interested. What's it do? It doesn't show at the time, but later, when your hands are dipped in water, it turns red. Oh, that red? red? And that red color will find the crooks. Donna, bring in the water. Uh, Lawman outside now. Lawman? The sheriff. My friend brought him to make some arrests. Put the water there, Tonto. Uh -huh. Jack, you're accused of opening that safe. Dip your hands in the water. I didn't touch the safe. Then dip your hands. See? They ain't turned red at all. I've told you that Zeke and Harv were here. Now let's have a look at their hands. Come on, Harv. I don't have to. I don't believe a word you say. Grab his hands, Tonto. Douse them in that water. <laughs> sure, I know it. I washed my hands this morning and they didn't turn red. Perhaps it takes time for the powder to work. Put a hand in water now. Put it. There. They're red. You can't hold me. Listen, oh, I... You're the one that gave the plans away. Boss, let me talk. Slavin made me do it. I didn't have no choice. You're trying I... to get me in it. Why, you dirty rat, you. I won't let no one double-cross me. You're wanted for crimes and I'm squealing that's on you. all that's needed. Come on and get them, Sheriff. Look, and they'll talk about plenty before we're done. You squeal on me, Zeke, and I'll tell a few things. You cheated Jack in that card game and I'll... will take the word of a crook like you. Come on, on your way, boys. Come on. I reckon we better get all this loose talk down and right. It'll be right handy at the trial. Paul, that puts me in the clear. It does, son. And I guess you've learned a lesson. I have. And so have I. I won't mistrust you again. But, stranger, wait a minute. Yes, sir? I don't understand. How did you get into the safe last night? And if his hands didn't turn red when he washed them this morning, why did they turn red now? I didn't open the safe. Not to rub the powder on when he grabbed his hands to soak them. Grant's guilty conscience did the rest. But wait. Thanks. Jack, it all goes to show what a guilty conscience will do to a man. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>